Murphy, Denny in Saigon, American expat, from the great state of Indiana. I've been living in Vietnam for almost two years. I'll tell you a little story about a girl I met in the USA, and she was from Brazil. I was in uh, San Diego, and I was at a bus station. I was going to take a bus back to Indiana. I took my van out there. I was living in my van for a while. I sold it. I went down to Tijuana. I had a good time with a buddy of mine. And uh, so I was on my way back to Indiana. And I saw this cute girl standing there at the bus station. I saw her talking to the, to the people, but she couldn't. looked like she was having a hard time, like figuring out something. So I went over and started talking to her and uh, figured out she didn't speak any English and that was the problem. They, they weren't speaking Spanish to her, I don't know why, but uh, so anyways I used Google to translate and uh, we struck up a friendship and I, uh, I rode with her on the way back. She went to New York City and I went to Indianapolis and um, and we kind of became friends. We used Google Translate to talk. and We spent the next, uh, I don't know, 16 or 18 hours together or something like that. And uh, so anyway, her story was this. She came from Brazil. And uh, she left her son in Brazil. Her grandpa. Uh, she was fleeing from some sort of trouble there. Some sort of problem, some violence and stuff. She rode a train through Mexico. She came up through, uh, you know, all those countries, Panama and Mexico. And she rode on top of the train, you know, all the way through Mexico. And then she told me when she got to the border, they detained her for three days. She went to Ysidro. Ysidro, I think that's what it's called. Same place I went through, Tijuana. And that's, you know, that's where they go, the immigrants. So they just come to the border crossing. Uh, you get in line there, it's about five, six, seven hour line of people and once you get up there, if, you, uh, if you're like her and you're not legally allowed to come in, they, they still let you in. They detain her at the border for three days and then they uh, let her in. And her sister was in New York so she was going to visit her, going to live with her sister is basically what she did. I saw her on Facebook a while after that, she got a job, she's doing pretty good learning English cute girl hot really pretty nice looking lady uh, you know it's from Brazil anyways uh, that's that's what happens to the immigrants I guess they come across the border they don't come across in the desert unless there's something else going on you know they could just come across any border crossing and they're gonna let them in uh, the whole notion that the liberals and the democrats are trying to pass off on you that uh, people coming across the desert with kids are somehow those are just the kids parents the democrats they don't know that you don't know that it's an unknown person coming across the desert with an unknown child uh, seems a lot more likely it's a child trafficker if that was your own kid, you're probably coming across the uh, border crossing, right? Or they're probably going to detain you for a few days and then let you go. They don't put you in jail. Not like you, if you're coming across, you know, sneaking across the desert somewhere. That's for drug smugglers and human traffickers. You know, seems more likely to me. Uh... I saw Trump talking about the uh, the young lady that was killed from I uh, uh, Iowa, maybe Idaho. Whatever it happens all the time. Uh, young ladies are murdered, come up missing all the time. I mean, everybody in America knows a young lady who's been murdered, or missing, or something. Not always immigrants, but sometimes it is. You know, sometimes it is illegal immigrants right really it's illegal aliens they're not illegal immigrants you know the media is pretty much lying to you about that too if you come across illegally not really an immigrant 
you're coming across the desert, you're sneaking in the country, nobody knows you're here. That's not immigration, you know. So the little girl from uh, Brazil, she's I think she's legal to be in the country now, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm not saying I would like to see them send her back. I don't really want to see that. She was a pretty nice girl. And I think uh, just a normal person, you know. I, I found her very, uh, very pleasant and sincere. She didn't have a lot of money. We were coming back. I didn't have much money either, believe me. Um, she was traveling with another lady who didn't speak any English. I don't know where she was going. Went into Burger King and I bought her a cheeseburger and I come back and gave it to her. And she tore that thing in half and gave half of it to her friend. I don't know if she got her son up here or not. Uh, I hope, you know. I'm not a, I'm a Trump supporter, but I'm not against, I'm not against uh, people coming to the USA. I understand that the USA is that kind of a country. People can come to the USA and become American, you know. I can't really come to Vietnam and become Vietnamese. Not every country is like that, but at the same time, you know, you gotta have got to have laws after all don't they always tell you when they're busting your balls that we're a nation of laws don't they tell you that yeah they do and in fact in the USA you might disagree with me you might not I'm not a lawyer but I'm 50 years old I've been there for uh, 48 years of my life everything is illegal in the USA everything is illegal everything that's why they say they can indict a ham sandwich. Because ham sandwiches are illegal, okay? And uh, just like they're doing to Trump, you know, they're, they're constructing a crime for him so they can impeach him. You can do the same thing with anybody. You could have done the same thing with Hillary or any of the Democrats. You just take some of Hillary's associates and throw them in jail, put them in solitary confinement for a while, or threaten to lock them up for years. And they'll probably be willing to test, you know, plead guilty to a crime. Let's say Hillary put him up to it, you know. You don't have to do that with Hillary and the Democrats. They, Their crimes are documented, you know. You don't have to create their crimes. They, they create their own crimes. But Trump, you know, the people elected Trump so he would drain the swamp. But the swamp's trying hard to drain him. Yeah, it's a, it's a fight, you know. People are always going to have to fight to be free. And there's always going to be minions and the duped. There's always going to be lackeys. It's, even during the American Revolution, there are people who supported the British. Okay? There's people who support the Nazis, people who support Stalin, people who supported Mao. There's going to be people who support Obamas and Hillarys. People who support the Democrats, people who support the Bushes. There's always going to be people who support the Queens and the Popes. There's going to be plenty of people support the new weird odor. Plenty of people are begging to be chipped. They're begging to be spied on. They're begging to be lied to. They're begging to be uh, socially engineered and uh, propagandized and polarized and all that stuff. They want to have their votes stolen. They love it. Plenty of people in that camp. But there's millions of people uh, who voted for Trump. And uh, they, they don't care about the floozies and stuff like that. And they know that the Democrats are constructing a crime for, for Trump so they can, they can impeach him. So what's going to happen in the USA? I, don't, I do not know, but uh, Pence, uh, Pence uh, he's no Trump. And the Democrats know once they, if they get Pence in the office, it's over. Uh, Pence will immediately undo everything Trump did. he will just be blackmailed. he will just be bribed or blackmailed. Or threatened. One of the three. That's the M.O. of the, of the New Bird Odor. They always do the same thing. They bribe them. You know, they bribe the politicians and the big players. All the big players. All the, like Alan Watt would say, the big boys. CFR members, you know. All the big... All the big shots. SEC, those guys are already bribed. They're pretty much new word odor lackeys. 
they're gonna do uh, everything that they, you know, can to to undo America, to undo uh, society, not just America. Believe me, they want to turn your society upside down. I don't care where you're from. Their plans are global in scope. New, not previously known. World, global in scope. Order, conformity or control. Yeah, just look it up. District 2. We'll get some Sprite. We need some potato ribbles. Yummy.